Hey everybody, welcome to Veganuary Day 29. We're almost there. Just another couple days. Uh, today I've got a dessert recipe for you. This is more of like a snack recipe. Maddie just took this batch of cookies to her college bestie for the weekend. She just visited her and it was a hit. And that's all I need to know. Um, and well, that's not true because my husband came home from work on Friday and there was some cookies around left over and he was like, oh honey, this takes me back to uh, the goodness of cookies when I was a child, Does, didn't it? He did. Yeah, so this is a good recipe. The, the recipe that I made for you though had uh, actual wheat flour in it. This one that we're making tonight has oat flour. <laughs> so let's hope that it's gonna take Mark back to his childhood again. We'll see. I don't know. He'll, he'll be my taster in the end. So down here in the bowl, I have some vegan butter that I just melted in the microwave. And I'm going to add my uh, sugar to this. Now don't worry about the amounts. The recipe is going to be in the more info below. So this is turbinado sugar, and I usually get this one when I uh, use sugar in cookies or whatnot like, as a brown sugar because it's less processed, but the only thing about this is it's very crystally, and it's kind of a pain in the neck if you don't want that crunch in the cookie. So I like to let this sit for a minute uh, to kind of dissolve the crystals because uh, some people don't like that crunch. I kind of like it. You kind of like it, that's cool, but if you don't like it, <laughs> let it dissolve a little bit. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Go for it. She's doing that right there. <laughs> Could you now? Mm -hmm. All right. We're also going to uh, add some milk to this. I have my... I haven't tried this yet. This is the Oatly Super Basic. It only has four ingredients. And those four ingredients are right here on the side so that you don't need your glasses to read them. Oats, water, sea salt, citrus fiber. What's the citrus, citrus fiber? fiber? Why do they have citrus fiber? I don't know. You know what? I want to taste this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> want to do a shot with me? That's actually really good. You want to try it? Sure. Here we go. Let's see what Mark thinks. It tastes very real. It's good. Yeah. For only four ingredients, That's fine. to yeah. not have the oil in there, and to not have uh, added sugar. Yeah. Actually, let me use that, because I'm just going to measure this much. I'm going to keep my milk out, because I don't know um, how much more I'm going to need. Because this is one of those recipes where you got to adjust it on the fly. Like, is this going to be wet enough? Is this going to be dry enough? I'll show you what consistent consistency we're going for when we have it all mixed up. All right, we're also going to add some salt because did I happen to mention we put in some vanilla? I don't know if I, I did think or you not. You mentioned it, but you did it. Yes, we're also putting in some salt because that helps uh, contrast the sugar a little bit. We're going to be using baking soda, not baking powder. So we're going to use about three quarters of a teaspoon of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that doesn't fit on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not going to work. Damn, I want some more of that milk. That was pretty good. You can have I'm it with not your a big, cookies. I'm not okay. <laughs> that's an idea. Uh, now we're going to add in our flour. I just took some oats and I um, you minced them up. down. Yeah, I blended them in the blender. Let's hope uh, I have the right amount here, otherwise I'm going to have to do more. I know this isn't exact, but you know what? That's okay, because we're going to adjust the wetness. So I'm going to need two cups of this. Uh, Get in there! There you go. You know what? You I think it. that's pretty that's good. perfect. All right. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if the spoon's going to be perfect for mixing or not. Mm. It's kind of weird. Yeah. And then the only other ingredient, besides maybe some more milk, is uh, going to be the chocolate chips. This is a very, very simple recipe. 
And the deliciousness is in the simplicity of this because it really lets the chocolate shine through. I'm going to definitely need some more milk in here. Oh. And now's a good time, too, to put the chocolate chips in here. I got these chips from Aldi. Mm -hmm. Or, no, I got these chips from Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. But I did get some from Aldi, too. The ones on the bottom that are the chunks are from Aldi. Okay. <laughs> these are accidentally vegan. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll take Perfect I'll, amount. I'll put the cover on for you. Perfect no. amount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did I say no amount? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to go back. It's been a long day of crocheting today and cleaning. C and C. Crocheting and cleaning. That is life. Yes. You know what? This is not dry enough. This needs more flour. So guess what? We're gonna have to uh, grind up some more flour. Not dry enough. Yeah. This is way too wet. It's got to be but thicker you just than put that. More milk in. I know, I, I was over ambitious with the milk. Mm -hmm. All right, check back. All right. <laughs> I ground up some more. Actually, when I think about it, that really was not even two full cups, so it's not all on me about the milk. But let's get uh, this consistency right. Okay. You want it to be... Uh, holding together without being too sticky and the tricky thing about this is the oatmeal I feel like if you let it sit for a little bit it's gonna soak up some of the juice yes. so I probably should let this sit before I bake it because I think it's gonna be uh, you know it's gonna come together a little bit better so I'm just gonna let this sit for five minutes and then we'll come back and check it and see if it's ready to start baking. All right, full disclosure, I added a little bit more flour. So <laughs> this is the consistency we're looking for. We're going to uh, drop it onto our cookie sheet that I've already spread, uh, sprayed. <laughs> I spread some spray on it, okay? Uh, avocado oil, I think it is. And... These are going to uh, spread out a little bit, these cookies. They're going to travel because uh, once the heat hits them, they're going to... They're going to melt. They're going to melt a little bit. Probably not too much. But we're going to um, pop these in the oven at 350 once I get this tray all filled up for probably between 15 to 18 minutes. I mean, those look good to me right now. You don't have to cook Yeah, I know, right? That's the good thing about vegan baking. Uh, you can eat it. Yes. Uncooked because there's no raw egg yeah, in there. Stick those in the fridge. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. All right. We have our cookie sheet filled up. This is going to be two batches because we still have some left in the bowl. If I could fight my husband off. Yeah, we'll see about that. <sighs> He's cra he gets crazy when there's cookie time. <laughs> so you can make these any size you want. Just make them all the same size so that they all cook the same amount. But we're going to pop this in here. And when we come back, it's going to be beautiful. Like you. <laughs> all right. It's time to taste the cookies. And I have to say, there was a little rat that was in the cookies already. <laughs> Wasn't there? No. <laughs> He's getting his milk ready. These didn't come out the same as the non-gluten-free ones. Not the same. Which ones were better? I think the other ones were better. Yeah. They were, they were <laughs> but these are gluten-free. So if you're gluten-free, you know. Yeah, I bet. They're good. Let's see. I could deal with that. <laughs> They're good, but they're, uh, the other ones were better. Really? You can't have that. It's got chocolate in it. He said, I want everything. He said, I need to be toweled down. I just came in from the snow. I know. <laughs> Dad, my coat is wet. <laughs> anyway. Whether you do them gluten-free or gluten with flour. 
regular flour. I hope you give them a try because they're simple. They don't have a lot of junk in them. Yeah, these are a little wetter, I think, too. Yeah, the other ones were super dry yeah. and, cr and crunchy crispy. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> All right, I have to towel off my wet dog. Do I have chocolate on my face? No. <laughs> my mom would always be like, something on my face, and then she would lick it off. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? You're right. <clears throat> would you like a cookie? Yes. All right. <laughs> Make your selection. Wait, you have to taste it on camera. Take a bite. <laughs> I like, how is it? Good or bad? Mm. Okay. I like how he opened his mouth as soon as he uh, reached for the cookie. <laughs> you're you're going to get an honest reply from him. You know that. He does not lie. All right. Um, Vulcan, he is a Vulcan. Thank you so much for watching. There's only two more Veganuary days after this one, so... I hope you're there for both of them and beyond. To infinity and beyond. Mm. And until next time. Much love. Yes.